Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is a question, question number 20 from the Cayley contest, which is a grade 10 math contest from Waterloo University. Give it a try and I'll be right back with the solution. All right, so this question asks how many four digit positive integers are divisible by both 12 and 20, but are not divisible by 16. All right, let's look at 12 and 20 first. So what we want to find is the least common multiple of 12 and 20. So the least common multiple. Um, you can go up by 20. 20 doesn't work because 20 is not divisible by 12. Uh, 40 doesn't work. 40 is not divisible by 12, but 60 does work. So the least common multiple of 12 and 20 is 60. So then what we can do is you can pull out your calculators. You can try 16 times 60, which is 960. So that's not a four digit number. But if we go one higher and do 60 times 17, we get 1020. So this 17, multiplying by 17 gives us our first four digit number, which is a, um, which is divisible by both 12 and 20. So that's our smallest four digit multiple. All right, now we're going to try to find our upper bounds here. So if you do 60 times 166, and you would play with different numbers on your calculator. But in this case, we get 9960. That's a good guess to make. Right? Notice it's very similar to 16. <laughs> and um, if you go one further and do 60 times 167, we go over. We get 10,020. So these ones we don't care about. But this is our lower limit and this is our upper limit. So that's our largest four digit multiple of 60 or put another way our largest four digit multiple of both 12 and 20. So now if we take 166 and minus 17 and add one because we want that very first one. We don't want to ignore that very first multiple. We get 150. So there are 150 positive four digit integers that are divisible by both 12 and 20. But be careful because that's not the answer. The answer goes on because we need to figure out which ones of these are not divisible by 16. All right, so let's look for another least common multiple. So we're going to look for the least common multiple of 60 and 16. And you can try that out. It turns out to be 240. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's find out which four digit integers are a multiple of 240. So if we did 240 times four, that's not quite a four digit integer. So if we did 240 times five, we get our lower limit of 1200. So that's our lower or smallest four digit number that is a multiple of 60 and 16 but not sorry that is a multiple of 12 and 20 and therefore 60 but is also a multiple of 16 so we're going to have to subtract it but first let's find our upper limit there so we'll do 240 times 41 that works out as 9840 but if we go one higher and do 240 times 42, we go up beyond four digits to five digits. So these two, we are not interested in. We're interested in these ones are smaller or lower limits and our upper limits. So if we do 41 minus five and then add one because this one here, we have to include it as well we get 37. So what does this mean? It means 150 four digit positive integers are divisible by both 12 and 20. 37 of those are also 
divisible by 16. But since we do not want these ones, we're going to take 150 and subtract 37. And we get 113. Or the answer 